Okay, so in this uh, lecture, we are going to define about uh, homomorphisms. So let us define what is a homomorphism. So for a homomorphism, we need two groups. So I will say let G and G dash. Now this group G has an operation star and the other group G dash that I'm taking, it has some different operation that operation I'm going to call star dash. So let us take these two groups. Then what is a homomorphism? A homomorphism is nothing but a function. Okay, so let phi be a function from the first group G with operation star to the second group G dash with the operation star dash. So it's a function which satisfies some property. This function should satisfy a very simple property which is given by phi of x star y should be equal to phi x star dash phi y and this property should hold for all x y belonging to the group g so this is the property that this function phi should satisfy okay if i draw a simple picture it will be more clear to you so i will take g is a group with operation star and the other group is i'm calling it g dash with operation star dash so i will take two elements here take any two elements x and y here now I, between g and g dash there is a function that function i'm calling or that function i'm calling phi now what is the image of x under this function the image of x under this function will be pi of x and what is the image of the the point uh, y under this function phi under this function y will go to the point phi y so x and y are in g dash uh, sorry x and y are in g and x, x, phi x and phi dash phi, phi y are elements of g dash so if i want to multiply x and y which operation should i use to combine them i'm going to use operation star if i want to operate uh, if i want to multiply two elements of uh, g dash okay then what will i how will i combine the two elements of g dash i will take phi x and the operation will be star dash with phi of y okay now this x star y i'm going to map to this particular element under the function phi so who is this right hand side element if x star y is getting mapped to phi x star dash phi y this is this element must be nothing but what this element must be phi of x star y so this is the definition of our homomorphism what is phi of x star y means what is the image of x star y under the function phi the image of x star y under the function phi i am going to define what phi x star dash phi y now now i hope you understand why the star dash came between phi x and phi y because they are elements of g dash why is there why is there a star between x and y because x and y are elements of what because x and y are elements of g so this definition is uh, is nothing but you of our homomorphism between the two groups g and g dash okay now let us now let us uh, try to define what is a trivial homomorphism now it happens that if i map all the elements of g to a single element of g dash so all elements in this picture that i'm drawing now i'm sending all the elements of g to a single element and that single element 
is our identity in the right hand side group the identity on the right hand side group i'm going to denote by e dash so all elements here in the group g x y z all these elements under the map phi are getting mapped to a single element such a homomorphism is called as a trivial homomorphism so what is a trivial homomorphism it's a function phi from g to g dash such that phi of x is equal to identity e dash for all x in the group g so all elements of the group g are getting mapped to which element are getting mapped to the identity element okay what is an example of a trivial homomorphism let me write an example so phi suppose i am taking the group g is z and we know the operation of z is plus and to the other group that i am going to send that other group is suppose i am taking again uh, let me take real numbers with respect to the operation addition so both are groups so this is my g and this is my g dash so this is a phi the map from integers to real numbers and what am i going to define this map phi of x is equal to how much e dash what is e dash in the group r plus okay what is the identity of the group of real numbers with respect to addition the identity element is what the identity element is zero so this means that phi of x is equal to zero for all x belonging to the set g who is g here z means all integers are getting mapped to what all integers are getting mapped to zero so what is this this is an example of a trivial homomorphism between the group z and r now let us define what is uh, i'm sorry let me give you one you now example of a homomorphism so let uh, phi be a function from z plus to z plus okay so the group g and g dash are equal it can it can happen that g and g dash are same okay i'm going to define uh, this phi by phi of x is equal to 3x okay now this what is the function phi doing so we know that this is a set of integers z and this other group g dash is also given to be the same group so this map is doing what it is sending 0 to 3 into 0 right phi of x is 3 into x so 3 into 0 is 0 what is phi of uh, 1 what is the image of 1 image of 1 will be 3 okay image of 2 is going to be how much 6 because it is 3 multiplied by this so this is the way this uh, this function is defined minus 1 is going to minus 3 and then 1 2 are not images of any element and so on okay 5 and 4 are also not images minus 1 minus 2 are also not images of any so they do not have pre images under this function phi okay now this function phi uh, is it a homomorphism first of all we have to really check whether this is a homomorphism or not okay so then it will be become an example for us so according to the definition of homomorphism uh, if i write a definition of homomorphism is this phi of x star y is equal to how much phi of x star dash phi y correct so what is the role of uh, who is playing the role of star here here star is plus and star dash is also plus because on both the sides we have the group z with respect to addition so this definition will now become phi of x plus y is equal to how much phi of x plus because star dash is also plus phi of x plus y is this true we have to check so let me write down the left hand side we have to check this okay so lhs is uh, phi of x plus y which is equal to 3 times x plus y correct but 3 times x plus y is nothing but 3x plus 3y we know this is true in 
integers and what is the right hand side the right hand side is 5x plus 5y which is equal to 3x plus 3y and therefore we see that the left hand side and right hand side are equal and therefore this means that phi which is given by what phi of x is how much phi of x is equal to 3x is a homomorphism between the two groups z and z okay so clearly we see that this phi uh, in this phi when i have drawn the diagram we see we have seen that one has no pre-image two has no pre-image this means this homomorphism is a homomorphism which is not an onto homomorphism okay it doesn't because it is it is not having the uh, every element in the codomain is not having the pre-image so this is not a onto homomorphism clearly phi is not onto map we all of us know what is the meaning of onto function all elements in the codomain if they have a pre-image then that function is called as a onto function so clearly phi is not onto okay is the function phi one one if you take two different elements in the domain the images are also different i hope the definition of the one one is also known to you if x is not equal to y then phi x should not be equal to phi y you even an alternative definition is that if phi x is equal to phi y then uh, if i can prove that x is equal to y then the function will become what and the function will become one one so if phi x is equal to phi y then uh, what will happen then 3x will be equal to 3y and when the 3 cancels i will get that x is equal to y so this homomorphism that i have shown you 5x is equal to 3x is which type of homomorphism is a one one homomorphism but it is not a onto homomorphism okay so now let phi be a map from the set of real numbers with respect to addition to the set of all non-zero real numbers which we call r star and the operation of non-zero real numbers is what is multiplication so both these are groups right b phi of x is equal to 3 raised to x okay is uh, is phi homomorphism so let us check whether this function phi is a homomorphism or not. So what is the definition of homomorphism? It is phi of x star y is equal to phi x star dash phi y. Okay, this is the definition of homomorphism. So we want to check. If you want to check if it's a homomorphism, you want to check that phi of x star. What is star? star is the left hand side operation star dash is the right hand side operation okay so this is star and this is the operation of the codomain which is star dash phi of x plus y is equal to phi of x dot multiplication phi y this is what we want to check so what is the left hand side equal to so i'll make two columns I will draw a line between otherwise students keep writing equal to equal to sign so to avoid that it's better we have a line in between so lhs is what phi of x plus y is nothing but how much phi of x is 3 raised to x so what will be phi of x plus y so just replace x by x plus y it will be 3 raised to x plus y okay and we know that 3 raised to x plus y is nothing but 3 raised to x multiplied by 3 raised to y right on the other hand what is the right hand side it is phi x dot phi y phi x multiplied by phi y which is 3 raised to x multiplied by 3 raised to y so left hand side and right hand side are actually equal so this means that this function phi is a is a homomorphism between the two groups real numbers with respect to addition and r star with respect to multiplication okay let me take one more example so let us take phi a function to be from 
real numbers star with respect to multiplication to real numbers star means non zero real numbers with respect to multiplication okay and what is uh, phi defined as phi of x is equal to defining mod of x okay so is phi is this phi a homomorphism let us check whether this phi is a homomorphism or not so definition says that phi of x star y is equal to phi x star phi y this is what i'm supposed to check so in other words here your star is also multiplication and star dash is also multiplication so i have to check the property that phi of x into y is equal to phi x into phi y so let me now write the left hand side and let me also simplify what is the right hand side and let us check if they are equal or not so when i write phi of x dot y it is equal to what is phi of x dot phi we had the definition of phi is given that phi of x is equal to how much mod x so what is phi of x dot y it will be mod of x dot y but what is mod of x into y it is mod x into mod y so and the right hand side is saying phi x into phi y will come up to be equal to how much will come up to be mod x into mod y therefore left hand side and right hand side are equal and therefore i can now declare that this phi is also a this phi is a homomorphism between the two groups r star with respect to multiplication and r star with respect to multiplication okay